Om Shanti. This is the Avyakt morning of 6th of November, 1987. And the title is, The way to become a constant server is to do four types of service. Today, the world benefactor, world server father, is looking at all his cooperative world server children together with each child being a constant easy yogi to what extent is each one a constant server in your brahman life the balance of both remembrance and service constantly makes you worthy to receive blessings from bab dada and all the elevated Brahmin souls. It is only at this confluence age and in this Brahmin life that you can receive blessings from God and the Brahmin family. This is why in this short life you easily receive all attainments for all time. This confluence age can be called the special age of blessings and this is why this age is also called the great age on the basis of every elevated action and every elevated thought the father himself continues to always give blessings from his heart to every brahmin child this brahmin life is a life in which you grow with the sustenance of blessings from God. With an open heart, the Father, the innocent Lord, is giving you children aprons full of all blessings. However, the basis of receiving all these blessings is the balance of remembrance and service. If you are a constant yogi, you are also a constant server. Does the importance of service always stay in your intellect? Some children think that only when they get a chance, means, or time for service will they do service. However, just as Bab Dada enables you to experience remembrance constantly and easily in the same way service also can be done constantly and easily so today bab dada was looking at the chart of all the server children until you become a constant server you cannot become experienced in receiving blessings all the time. For instance, when you do service according to the time, according to the chance, or according to the program, then as a result of that service, you receive success and blessings from the father and the family. But that is not for all time. Therefore, because of receiving those blessings, you sometimes experience easy progress in yourself and service. However, at other times, because there isn't the balance of constant remembrance and service, you experience success after having labored. Today, Baba is going to tell you how you can become a constant server and the importance of that service. Throughout the day, you can serve in many different ways. In that, first is service of the self, that is, always to pay attention to the self in becoming complete and perfect. You have to make yourself pass with honors in all main subjects 
of this study. You have to become an embodiment of knowledge, an embodiment of remembrance, and an embodiment of dharma. You have to make yourself complete in everything. Let the service of the self always remain in your intellect. The service of the self automatically enables you to serve through your perfect form. However, the method for that is attention and checking. You have to check yourself, not others. The second is world service, which you do in various ways with various methods through words and through relationships and connections. You know all of this very well. The third is service of the yajna, which you do with your body and wealth. The fourth is service through the mind. Wherever you live, you can serve many souls with your pure feelings, elevated wishes, elevated attitude, and elevated vibrations. The method for this is to become a light and might house. From one place, a lighthouse serves far, far away. In the same way, from one place, you can become instruments to serve many. If you have accumulated so many treasures of the powers, you can do this easily. There is no problem of physical facilities, a chance or of time in this. You simply need to be full of light and might. The mind and intellect should always remain free from waste thoughts. It should easily be an embodiment of the mantra Man Manabhav. Can all these four types of service not make you a constant server? From all the four types of service, continue to do any one type of service at every moment and you will easily become a constant server and because of constantly being occupied in service, because of constantly remaining busy, you will easily become a conqueror of Maya. Out of all the four types of service, do whatever service you can, when you can, but don't deprive yourself of doing service for even a second. You have to be a server for all 24 hours. You are not a yogi or server for just eight hours, but a constant server. This is easy, is it not? If nothing else, then service of the self is good. At any time, whatever chance you have, you can do service. Because of their body or because of not having time, some children think that they are unable to do service. However, out of all the four types of service, if you remain busy in any type of service, according to the method, you accumulate marks in the subject of service. And these marks will be added to your final result. Just as marks are accumulated for those who serve through words, in the same way, service of the yogya, service of the self, and service through the mind also have just as much importance and you will accumulate just as much from any of those. There is the same amount of marks for every type of service. However, 
those who do all four types of service accumulate that many marks. Those who only do one or two types of service accumulate marks accordingly. Even then, if you are unable to do all four types of service, but are only able to do two types of service, then too, you can be a constant server. And because of being constant, your marks increase. This is why Brahman life means to be a constant server and an easy yogi. Just as you pay attention to having constant remembrance and that the link of remembrance is constantly forged, in the same way, the link of service too should always remain forged. You experience different stages in remembrance, sometimes the seed stage, sometimes the angelic form, sometimes churning, sometimes a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And although you have different stages, you count that as constant remembrance in the subject of remembrance the same way, let there be these different forms of service. For life without service is not a life. Let there be remembrance at every breath and service at every breath. This is called balance. Only then will you continue to constantly have the experience of receiving blessings at every moment and the sound that will constantly and naturally emerge from your heart is that you are being sustained with blessings. You are flying with blessings with the experience of the flying stage. You will become free from laboring and battling. You will become free from the questions, what, why, how, and always remain happy. You will continue to constantly experience success as your birthright. I don't know what will happen. I don't know whether there will be success or not. I don't know if I will be able to continue in the future or not. When these thoughts of I don't know are transformed, you will experience the stage of a master Trikaldarshi. You will constantly have the faith and intoxication that victory is already guaranteed. These are the signs of blessings. Do you understand? In Brahman life, in this great age, if you have to labor after you have claimed a right to Bab Dada, if you constantly spend your life in a stage of battling, Bab Dada cannot bear to see a life of labor in you children. This is why become constant yogis and constant servers. Do you understand? Acha. The hopes of the older children have been fulfilled, have they not? Well done to the serviceable children who did the service of providing water and gave their cooperation day and night to fulfill the hopes of many children. You became conquerors of sleep and also conquerors of matter. So give thanks to all the servers of Madhuban, whether they made the plants, brought the water, received others comfortably, provided comfortable accommodation, had the meals ready on time, to whoever were instruments 
for all the different types of service. Bab Dada is giving thanks anyway. The world is crying out for water, and the father's children are carrying out their tasks so easily. Bab Dada continues to see the service of all the serviceable children. The residents of Madhuban have become instruments and are enabling you to receive a chance so comfortably. You too have become cooperative, have you not? Just as those people have become cooperative and you are receiving the fruit of that, in the same way, if all of you also continue to move along, in the same way, according to the time in every task, many other Brahmins will continue to receive the fruit of your cooperation. Bab Dada was smiling. Rivers of milk will be flowing in the golden age. But at the confluence age, at least, the water has become like ghee, its value. Rivers of ghee are flowing through the taps. Water has become like ghee, and so it has become invaluable, has it not? This way, many will be given a chance. Nevertheless, there is so much difference between the world and you Brahmins. All of you have a lot more comfort than others at many other places, and you are getting this practice. Therefore, continue to increase the practice of being one who understands the significance of all secrets and Remain happy in every situation. Acha, to all the constant yogi, constant server, elevated souls, to those who are always trikaldarshi and experience the right of success, to the elevated, constantly happy and contented souls, to the children who experience blessings at every second, love, remembrance, and namaste from Bab Dada, the bestower of fortune and the bestower of blessings. To Dadiji, you had the thought and everyone received the fruit of that elevated thought. You are receiving so many garlands of blessings. Together with the praise of the Father, people also sing praise of those who become instruments. This is why the children are also worshipped with the Father. The Father is not worshipped alone. Everyone is receiving so much happiness. These garlands of blessings give you the right to receive garlands on the path of devotion. Blessing, may you be a charitable soul and with the sanskars of godly royalty speak of the specialties of each one. Constantly, to have every thought and perform every action while considering yourself to be a special soul, constantly to see and speak of the specialties of each one, always to have the benevolent feelings of making each one special. This is godly royalty. Royal souls cannot take into themselves things that others have discarded. Therefore, always pay attention that your eyes are closed to seeing anyone's weaknesses or defects. 
sing praise of the virtues of one another, exchange flowers of love and cooperation, and you will become a charitable soul. Slogan: The power of blessings changes even the fire of a situation into water. Om Shanti.